Hey guys, yet another video. Um, anyways, uh, working on just kind of plotting out uh, to do my wiring for the uh, GY6 swap in my ruckus here. But uh, hey, I was doing a little welding earlier too. Excuse my mess. Um, I'd just kind of like to go over uh, each connector here and kind of the colors on the wires as compared to my wiring diagram. Um, just as kind of a reference if I need help later, and also as kind of a reference for myself, uh, just so I have a video of everything. But anyways, uh, nice wiring harness here. Uh, credit to J.File on uh, TR who made this, or, well, he may not be on TR, but he's the one who created it. But a uh, real nice wiring diagram, really concise, good colors and everything, shows you where everything goes. But we'll go ahead and start here. I'll sit down and we'll go over each and every little wire here. Anyways, I believe that these wires here are for the battery connections. Of course, green being ground and red being positive. Uh, coming along, that's going to be the automatic choke for the carb, which of course is not going to be used since I'm using an OCO carburetor that doesn't have an automatic choke. It's a manual choke. Uh, further up here, um, this is going to be for the stator, and for some reason I've only got three pins, which I believe because this uh, harness is designed for an eight pole system, so I'm going to have to figure out a solution for that. I'm probably going to have to run an auxiliary wire, so I'm going to have to figure out um, how that works, because uh, the eight pole, or excuse me, the eleven pole harn the eleven pole stators. Um, have four pins in this connector. Um, now these colors are kind of weird. They don't match up with what's on my wiring diagram and they don't match up with the colors that they're supposed to connect to on this actual stator that I've got hooked up on the GY6. So that'll be interesting. Um, going over here, this green wire that I've got tucked underneath here is probably just a ground to the engine block. Um, not really sure what that is. It has something to do with the coil over here, which I don't think it does. Hmm. Maybe it does connect to that actual coil over there. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, I'll figure that out at some point. Um, let's see, I already went over the stator. Coming up along this line, uh, we do have the coil. Um, it's just like stupid things on the harness like this that I'm concerned about. You can see I've got green, and then I've got yellow with a red tracer. And then I come over to here, this connector, it's connected correctly apparently. But I come to the harness and then I've got, oh, well there's orangish yellow with a red tracer, and then I've got yellow with a green tracer, and they're opposite <laughs> from each other. So I'm just like, great, this is going to be fun to figure out. But oh well, I was the one who decided to do this. Um, Coming over here, I've got the brake lights, which what I believe is the brake lights anyways. Um, and then that's stock ruckus connectors, but I doubt I'm going to use them. This little guy, apparently more rear lights. So I think that's brake light and those are probably uh, turn signals or something like that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, moving along further, up here I've got my CDI. Um, and you can see the different colors of the wires here. And that's a variable timing one from uh, standard functions as well. You see, it's just interesting colors coming from the CDI. It doesn't match up with the wiring diagram. So I get to play that fun game, um, comparing colors and whatnot. Uh, running over to this small wire coming in here, standard green and black for um, the coil. And I know I said that that was a coil earlier. Um, it's actually for the starter motor. But that's what that is. So green and black, you can't screw that up. So I've gone over everything on this end of the harness. Uh, coming over here. Over here we have the rectifier. And then, of course I've only got five pins coming to it, which are oddly colored. And then, because I've got an 11 pole rectifier, my connector is smaller. Yay! But apparently, there's only five pins coming to it as well, so that's good. 
And those are the colors of the wires that I have. Matches up with the wiring diagram I've got, minus the fact that there's actually three yellow wires running to the rectifier on the wiring diagram. But it doesn't match up with my harness, which is kind of weird. But the rectifier connects there. Um, I assume that this is a ground, chassis ground of some kind. Uh, did I have this marked with anything special? I don't think I did. So I guess that's just a ground of some kind. I'll have to figure that out later. This I had it marked as an ignition wire. Um, I believe that is the connector for the ignition harness. Stock on GY6. All kinds of fun, interesting colors. I've got double wires running to some of these. The red and the gray, it looks like. Um, and of course I'll have to run a fun relay setup on it. I've already got it. It's just sitting around in my pile of parts somewhere. Stock Ruckus ignition harness. Or ignition connector. So that'll get wired up. Um, headlamps, I believe, is this. Get in here. All the kinds of fun colors. But headlamps... That's a stock ruckus headlamp and horn assembly there. The horn is actually going to be relocated to under the seat, so I'm going to have to run a wire for that, or two wires for that. And those are my fun colors on the ruckus side. Um, it's also combo, a combo switch thing, combo switch connector on the GY6 harness. I cannot talk today. So I've got all those colors on there. There's that gray wire again. And then those are the left stock controls on the ruckus, so lots of wiring lights and things like that. And then I believe this is right controls. I had written on here in Sharpie. Hold on a second. Yeah, it says right controls on it. So the different wires. But anyways, and then I went over everything there. So not a very exciting video, but that's basically it. Um, <laughs> this one lone connector over here is the fuel sending, uh, is for the MET fuel sending unit that I'm going to have to get. Um, and then I'll just run a stage six, or I think it's COSO is the company that they rebranded it from, uh, fuel gauge. And I'll just have to run that and that'll be its own standalone circuit. All it needs is just a power and ground if I'm not mistaken. But that's the whole wiring harness. Like I said, not a very exciting video, but hey, um, just so I don't royally screw anything up. Um, so if you have any comments, uh, leave them below. I'd love to hear back from you guys with any help. Thank you.